All right, lecture two is about merging multiple documents and comparing documents. So in essence, two concepts that we'll take a look at. There's how to compare two different documents and then how to combine and merge two separate documents. Very powerful feature, very easy to use, and you can work with it, save a lot of time when you have multiple documents that you work with. You wanna be able to compare them side by side or merge them into a single document, track changes. So for example, if you're in case when you work with other authors and reviewers on multiple copies of the same document, you can collect the copies and then use the combine command to merge the documents and produce a single document. In other cases, you might simply want to compare two versions of the document to view how the two versions differ. So when you compare two documents, uh, basically what happens is that the differences between the original document and the revised document uh, are shown in the original document and, and we'll see and how their track changes. So let's get right into it and let me show you how it's done. So both of these options are located under my review tab. This is where I will find the options of how to compare and combine. Okay, so I can either compare two versions of a document or I can combine versions from multiple authors into a single document. Okay, so we'll take a look at each of these options and how to work with it uh, to make your life easier and save you lots and lots of time. What I've done is I've actually created uh, two separate documents here. Okay, so this is the original document and this is my revised document. So just to save on time, what I've done is I've created two sets of documents. So let me first show you exactly what these documents look like before we start working with them. So again, these are two different documents. So let me open up the original document first. And all I have here is just a single paragraph, just some text that I have. Similarly, let me close this and open up the revised document. So in this document, I've made some changes to the original document. For example, there's a new line that I've added here and other changes as well uh, and so forth. Okay, so two sets of documents. So let's take a look at how to work with the compare and combine commands features in Word 2013. So here I have a new set of document, a blank document that I've opened and I like to first uh, use the compare option. So I'm going to compare the two versions of a document okay so I click on this option called compare documents here's on the left side is my original document I need to locate that uh, wherever that is so I need to browse I need to go to my desktop and just simply select my original document and click open okay same thing I do with the revised document okay so I want to since I'm comparing documents I need two documents right so exactly the same process I go to my desktop and this time I select the revised document and click open so now I have two sets of documents I have the original document on the left and the revised document on the right and notice how it says label changes with displays my name it basically when it tracks changes it'll tell you who made the changes so you can name it your own name or your company's name or however you want to want it do this all right some comparison setting options so what word 2013 does is whatever you select is what it's going to compare the two documents with so for example if I need to compare moves within the two documents I can check this box if there are any comments that are made in one of the documents and not the other it will compare this option formatting changes will be compared Similarly, case changes, white spaces, tables, headers, footers, text boxes, and fields. So everything that you know you select here, uh, Word is going to compare the two. And then the show changes option here, you can select how do you want to display the changes within these documents. You can either select the character level or the word level. Um, and how do you want to display these changes? So you want to show these changes in the original document or in the revised document or uh, you want to create a new document by comparing two sets of documents. So let's leave this option as a new document so we'll be able to see how Word 2013 takes the original document, 
takes a revised document, compares the two, and creates a new document with those changes. Okay, so all I have to do is um, I've already selected my original, I already have selected my revised document, and I want to be able to uh, work with all these options. Okay, I'm going to leave it all checked because I may have some footers and headers even though I do not in this particular exercise, but you may. Uh, so I'm just going to click OK. And what Word does is basically creates a new document here, right? And displays and compares the two documents. And it tracks changes, so it shows me everything that's highlighted in red of the changes that I made to the uh, within the revised document. Now notice this this really doesn't really uh, give me a whole lot of information, right? It's just like okay, fine, it compares it and then gives me a new document, but how do I know uh, which document is which? Real simple, all you have to do is just go up to your ribbon area in the reviewing pane, shows all the changes to your documents in a list. So all you have to do is uh, select the right option that you want. So you want a reviewing pane vertical uh, or you want it as a horizontal option. Okay, so now I have a new document uh, with the two uh, compare documents uh, that I can see. But this doesn't really give me a whole lot of information, right? It doesn't show me the source document, doesn't really get to, I need to see the revised document. I want to be able to have some more visuals. Real simple, let's go back to our compare command and in the same uh, menu, show source documents. Here you can have the options to sh either look at the uh, original document, revise, or show both. So we're just going to select show both. So we're going to see uh, both documents side by side. On the top right hand side is my original document and I can work with it. Right below the original document I have my revised document. Okay, So here are the uh, changes that I made to the revised document. And on the left side I have the compared document that word 2013 did. For me. It also tells me that I've made two revisions between the original and the revised. So there are two revisions and it lists all these revisions. So the first change that I made was I added this sentence. Before I begin changing the document, let's consider the following facts. And the second change uh, that I did was to add the last line. Okay. Also, I need to work on several projects before I go home. So really powerful feature. Same thing, I can uh, highlight, work with the text, do whatever I want to do with it. I can save it as a new document. Once I compare the results, I can accept the changes. Uh, if I'm reviewing, and we'll take a look at in our future tutorial, I'll show you when you work with track changes, is how to work with accepting these changes and, and rejecting them and so forth. Okay, But for now, just a, a quick concept on how to compare two documents. And if I want to be able to take a look at just the source, do, uh, source do, original document, show original document, it'll uh, give me the original document here. I can close the revisions, I can close this and move me back to my original. If I need to get back to my revised document, it will show me the revised document and I can simply take a look at the revised document and so forth. So I can play around with this, okay? So powerful feature when you compare two documents in Microsoft Word 2013. Okay, let's move on to the next concept, which is the combine feature. Okay, so the combine revisions from multiple authors into a single document. Notice the distinct difference. In comparison is the two versions of documents. And here you're combining revisions from two different authors into a single document. So let's take a look at how this works. So I'm going to close this for now, so we can start afresh. Here's my document, so I need to work with the combine option now. So I go to my compare and combine option and I select combine. This dialog box is exactly the same as in combine, compare and combine, so I'm going to pick up my original document just like I did before, okay? So this is good practice. I go to my desktop, here's my original document. And then on the right side, I select my revised document. Same thing. I have two documents. 
and same uh, options for my comparison settings and then whether I want to show changes at the character level or word level um, and in this case also we'll have a new document open once Word uh, 2013 combines these two documents together. One thing you might have noticed here is that under the original document the label changes also shows my name as the original document author and in the revised document it also shows my name because they both belong to me. So in your work environment you may have several individuals uh, or different authors are working on documents that you want to combine. So once I have set these options I'm going to click OK and Word is going to combine these two documents. So when you combine documents the difference uh, between the original and revised documents are shown as track changes. So if a revised document includes track changes then these changes are also displayed in the combined document as track changes. So each reviewer is identified in the combined documents as well. Okay, So powerful feature. And same thing I can go up to my show source documents and I want to be able to see both documents at the same time. And I can accept the change um, this is the change that it highlights. Once I click accept, it's going to become permanent in my combined document. This is again, it's a new document, right? So nothing changes in the original document, nothing changes in the revised document. The only uh, changes that I accepted here was in the combined document, which is a new document that I've created. Okay? So there aren't any comments or correct changes in the documents. So I've selected. Uh, I've accepted all these changes. Okay, so if I close the original document, the revised document, so here's my uh, document, new document, which combines both the original and the revised documents, and I can now save it as the way I want to, wherever I want to. Okay, so I hope the concepts of comparing and combining documents is now clear. So let's answer a couple of questions just to reinforce uh, what you've seen. Here's a little quiz.